Hello children. So welcome to AIMS India's online classes. Today, from physics subject, motion topic we are going to learn. So next. So we have two more terms, speed and velocity. We have two more terms. One is speed, another one is velocity. Suppose a car here. So a car is moving in different, different, different directions. It covered some distance, yes, in, term, in some time t. Means the distance traveled by the car in uh, <coughs> some time, that is called speed of the car. So speed means distance traveled by a body in unit time. Suppose it went 80 kilometers, it went 80 kilometers in uh, 2 hours, but we have to calculate in 1 hour, in unit time. So 80 by 2, if we divide, we will get 40 kilometer, 40 kilometer per 1 hour, per 1 hour. This 1 hour is unit time. In unit time, how much distance it has traveled, it is called speed. So here 80 kilometer is not the speed, 80 kilometer is the distance traveled in 2 hours, but we want in unit time interval, means 80 divided by 2, then we will get 40 km per hour, that will be the speed. So speed means total distance by total time, because here distance is a scalar quantity. What is scalar quantity children? Which never depends on direction, which has only magnitude, is called a scalar. Because speed, in the formula of speed, we have distance, which is a scalar. So speed also a scalar quantity. For speed, no direction will be there. And the unit of speed is unit of distance by unit of time. What is the unit of distance? Meter. What is the unit of time? Second. So unit of speed is meter per second. Suppose, if the truck traveling in a straight line, if the truck traveling in a straight line, so then, so whatever journey it has traveled, it is considered as displacement, not distance, because it is going in definite direction along a straight line. The car has covered, the car has covered, uh, the car has covered this one, displacement. The car has covered displacement. So, displacement by time, displacement by time, okay, displacement by time, in how much uh, time, how much displacement it has covered, if we divide, we will get displacement travelled in unit time or displacement also can be considered as distance travelled in specified direction. If distance only, if, ha if it happens in particular direction, we call it as a displacement. We call it as a displacement. So velocity equal to displacement by time. It's a vector quantity. It gives direction from SI unit of velocity is SI unit of displacement by SI unit of time. It's unit also meter per second. So speed means distance traveled in unit time interval. Velocity means distance traveled in specified direction in unit time interval or we can call displacement travelled in unit time. In any way we can call. Okay. So next. Suppose car covers distance of 20 km due east in 2 hours. Truck covers 60 km in 3 hours due west. What is the speed and velocity? Speed of car means? Speed of car means? Speed of car 20 by in 2 hours, 20 by 2, 10 km. Speed of truck, on which one? Speed of truck 60 by 3, 20 km per hour. Because uh, 60 km it covered in 3 hours. 60 by 3, 20 km per hour. Here 20 km in 2 hours, 20 by 2, 10 km per hour. So speed of car 10 km per hour, 
speed of truck 20 km per hour. In the same way, velocity of car 20 by 2, 10 km per hour. But here only value we will mention 10 km per hour. But here along with value 10 km per hour, it is going due east. Here the word due means towards children, towards that side, towards east, 10 km due east. So velocity of truck 20 km due west. Like that while mentioning velocity, we have to mention the direction. While mentioning speed, no need to mention the direction, only value we have to mention. Okay. Next one. Next one. Speed. Means uh, here distance by time. Means how much distance, sorry, distance traveled in unit time. So whenever we are comparing the quantity with time, so then we have to define it as the rate at which a particle covers a distance means the rate of distance, the rate of change of distance, the rate of change of distance is called speed. Why we are using the word rate here? Because we are checking the, checking the distance with respect to time. So that's why we have to use the word rate. So the rate at which a particle covers a distance along a given path is called speed. So speed equals to distance by time. Its uh, basic uni unit is SI unit is meter per second. CGS unit is centimeter per second. So speed, because it is depending on distance, that's why it is a scalar quantity. What is the dimensional formula of speed here? Distance means length. Time means capital T. So here L one time we are having, T one time we are having, but t is in the denominator. If we take the numerator part, it will become t power minus 1. L power t power minus 1. There is no mass here. So mass is not involved in this unit. So dimensional formula of speed is m0 l1 t minus 1. Okay. So the other general units of speed are kilometer per hour. Kilometer per hour. Because the for buses and uh, large uh, big vehicles, we make uh, use of the unit kilometer per hour. We call it as KMPH. KM stands for kilometer, P stands for per, H stands for hour, kilometer per one hour. Or we can also write it as kilometer by hour. Like that also we can write. So the SI unit is meter per second. CGS unit is centimeter per second. General unit is kilometer per hour. Not only that, uh, nowadays we can broadband speed, worldwide broadband speed or worldwide uh, internet speed. So download speed, 46.1 to Mbps, megabytes per second. Because uh, uh, for internet or for uh, your phone, you will be having RAM, or memory, so 2 GB, 4 GB, 2 GB means they are gigabyte. Here MB means megabyte, 46.1 to megabytes. What is this average download speed? In the same way, upload speed 22.44 Mbps. Means if you are downloading any video from YouTube or somewhere else, it will download with greater speed. Same way, if you want to upload our video somewhere else, so then its upload speed is somewhat less compared to download speed. So that's why for downloading it will take less time, for, but for uploading it will take more time. <coughs> Next slide. So velocity. Velocity means rate of change of displacement. Means rate of means with respect to time. Change of displacement with respect to time. Change of displacement with respect to time. Velocity is called velocity. So it's uh, unit same, SI unit meter per second, CGS unit centimeter per second. It is a vector quantity. Why means? It is depending on displacement, which is a vector. 
here time is a scalar no need to bother about time here but displacement is a vector so velocity is the vector quantity dimensional formula also same here dimensional formula also same here so here velocity means speed plus direction if this cycle it is coming down and going up going coming back to point b this cycle from starting from point a coming down going up coming down coming to point b this is called speed this length is called speed suppose if the cycle goes in straight line so then it is having speed plus direction so then its speed is called velocity so velocity is nothing but speed in definite direction speed in definite direction is called velocity if the direction is not different uh, definite then it is called speed next one so here change of velocity so the velocity of a particle or a moving body when it will change if the magnitude is changed suppose here here we are pedaling the cycle if we change the speed of pedaling or while moving on bike while traveling on bike if we raise the accelerator axle uh, raise the accelerator so then its uh, velocity will increase so that is one reason so by increasing the force either it, be, it may by be it might be because of pedaling or might be because of engine of car any reason if the magnitude value is changed then velocity will change change or if direction changes then also velocity changes or both changes while taking a sudden turn suppose we are going in car on ring road on outer ring road outer ring road outer ring road what we have to do so well if you are moving on a car if you are moving on a car on the outer ring road we have to take the turn and we have to change the speed both we have to do at a time both we have to do at a time speed will change magnitude will change direction will change at the time at the time also we can observe change of velocity so change of velocity change in velocity means delta v bar because velocity is a vector so delta delta denotes change change in velocity vector delta v bar means here children delta stands for change v stands for velocity bar stands for vector change in velocity vector equals to final velocity vf stands for final final velocity vector minus initial velocity vector the difference we have to take before uh, crossing uh, the ring road what is the initial velocity vi after crossing the ring road what is the final velocity vf if these two difference we will do then we will get change of velocity value so where vi is the initial velocity vf is the final velocity so change in velocity is absolute in an inertial frame so absolute means it never depends on observer so here the here change in speed suppose one observer is, is here or one observer is in the car or one observer is near toll gate we can observe from anywhere but the change in velocity in the car will be same for everybody because it is not relative term it's absolute term means it is fixed change in velocity is fixed because this frame this frame is inertial frame this outer ring road is fixed frame it is not moving so it's considered as inertial frame so in an inertial frame this change in velocity is absolute term means it does not depends on observer for everybody the value of change in velocity will be same from person to person it won't change so this change in velocity is called this change in velocity is called acceleration it may be because of change in speed 
means because of change in magnitude or change in value if the change happens because of magnitude we call it as change in speed or because of change in direction or because of change in both because of these three reasons if there is any change in velocity happens this change in velocity is called acceleration so we have a new word called acceleration children which means change in velocity reason may be any one of this but change happen so that's why there is acceleration so here acceleration means the change in velocity in unit time means in one second how much velocity changed that is called acceleration so acceleration means change in velocity by time change in velocity what is the symbol children delta v bar delta stands for change v stands for velocity bar stands for vector so change in velocity by time because change in velocity again we can write it as v bar final velocity u bar initial velocity final velocity minus initial velocity this difference equal to delta v bar because velocity is a vector so change in velocity is also a vector so acceleration also a vector okay acceleration is also a vector so the change in velocity in what direction change in velocity happens in the direction of change in velocity acceleration also will be there so the direction of acceleration will be always along the direction of change in velocity okay so here change in velocity means velocity minus velocity its unit will be meter per second because change in velocity also one kind of velocity unit is meter per second by time means second means meter per second into second or meter per second square meter per second square meter per second square is the si unit of acceleration its dimension formula meter stands for length one length second stand for time t square because we are having second square l1 t2 l1 t square if it goes upside to numerator t power minus 2 so l1 t power minus 2 no mass is involved so m0 we will write so dimension formula of acceleration is m0 l1 t minus 2 so next average acceleration so if the velocity of particle remains constant as time passes we say it say that it is moving with uniform velocity uniform velocity uniform velocity means suppose uh, if you take a train if you take a train if we take a train so what happens to train while uh, leaving the platform while leaving the platform it will move it will uh, increase its speed slowly 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 it will uh, change its speed change its speed slowly it will uh, increase positive speed will increase but after coming into the middle for some time it will go constant sometime it will go with constant speed or velocity again uh, reaching another station while reaching another station again its velocity will change this time it will slow down negative means throughout the journey of any object throughout the journey of any object we can observe change in velocity either increasing or decreasing or constant if the velocity is constant if the velocity is constant suppose here it is moving from uh, 0 km per hour next 10 km per hour next 20 next 30 here it is 40 for 1 hour it traveled with 40 meter per second or km per hour speed next again decreased next 30 20 10 0 like that so this 40 km per hour this is for 1 hour it is constant 
during that one hour journey the velocity is not changing velocity constant so then we can say that the body is moving with uniform velocity uniform velocity means change in velocity is zero means zero acceleration so uniform velocity indirectly what is the meaning children zero acceleration why the velocity is uniform not changing acceleration means change in velocity no change so acceleration will be zero in that case suppose if the velocity changes with time we can tell that it is accelerated the object is accelerated so the acceleration means rate of change of velocity in how much uh, time how much velocity change that uh, ratio is called average acceleration or acceleration so rate of change of velocity means how much change of velocity happened in how much time relating to time if we compare then that is called rate of change of velocity and it is called acceleration so average acceleration will be taken for throughout journey total journey for the total journey for the total journey the velocity may increase the velocity may decrease or the velocity may constant so overall for the total journey always we will consider average acceleration average acceleration so sometimes we will come across instantaneous acceleration because in uh, if you observe racing uh, car racing if you observe car racing the winner will be decided in a time gap of 1 second in a time gap of 1 second in a time gap of 1 second the one car racer may overtake another car racer means within less time less interval of time we can observe some amount of acceleration at that 1 second why means it is moving with great speed so in that particular 1 second how much change happened in the speed of the um, car in car race that acceleration in that particular instant particular instant or particular second is called instantaneous acceleration but it will be small very 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 small dv dv means small change of velocity we can observe in dt dt means small interval of time like 1 second so 1 second is it suppose total car race is for 2 hours from 2 hours if we compare 2 hours 1 second is a very small time interval of time compared to 2 hours so in that small interval of time dt how much small amount of velocity changed the dv by dt is called instantaneous acceleration means acceleration at that particular instant at that particular one second if we take delta v by delta t so then it is large amount of change of velocity in large amount of time for two hours how much velocity change then we will make use of delta v delta t but for small intervals we will make use of dv by dt so instantaneous acceleration means acceleration or change of velocity in that particular instant next uniform acceleration or constant acceleration means uh, we have started journey from 0 seconds velocity is 10 meter per second 10 meter per velocity is 10 meter per second now after 10 seconds velocity change to 20 meter per second again after 10 seconds means 20 seconds velocity change to 30 meter per second again after 10 seconds 30 seconds velocity change to 40 meter per second means 0 to 10 10 seconds 10 to 20 10 meter per second change again 10 seconds 10 meter per second 10 seconds 10 meter per second like this if the change of velocity is in equal amounts in equal intervals of time 
here time should be equal time interval should be equal velocity change should be equal then we can tell that the body is moving with uniform acceleration or constant acceleration means velocity is changing but in uniform way or like a constant okay okay so then the acceleration will be given by a equal to v minus u by t or t will go this side a into t a t or u will go this side u plus a t v equal to u plus a t this formula will come so whenever a body is traveling with uniform acceleration for solving problems we can apply these two formulas a equal to v minus u by t or v equal to u plus a t for which body for any object which is moving with uniform acceleration for that kind of objects only this kind of formulas will be applicable <coughs> so next non uniform acceleration means if the velocity of body changes unequal amounts in equal intervals of time means in 10 seconds velocity changed 10 meter per second next uh, 10 seconds velocity changed 30 meter per second next uh, 5 sec 10 seconds velocity changed uh, only 10 meter per second first 10 10 plus 30 20 30 plus 10 40 here uh, for 10 seconds uh, 20 meters changed again for next 10 seconds 10 meters only changed means equal intervals of time but unequal amounts of uh, velocity changing we can tell that non uniform acceleration non uniform acceleration we are also have a word called deceleration or it is also called as retardation r e t a r d a t i o n retardation means suppose here here we are going in a car suddenly this uh, cycle this person comes uh, um, in front of the car what we will do we will apply brake if it is traveling with great speed because of brakes the car speed will be changed decreased that uh, decrease of speed or velocity is called deceleration or retardation or negative acceleration we can also call it as negative we can also call it as negative acceleration or minus a because plus a stands for acceleration minus a stands for negative acceleration or deceleration means if the speed of particle decreases with time we can say that it is decelerating or it is in retardation so acceleration opposite to this deceleration the symbol for deceleration is minus a okay children so next so for uh, uniformly accelerated motion means for the bodies uh, whose change of velocity is uh, uniform according to time interval so then they are said to be uniformly accelerated bodies in that type of motion some equations are applicable they are called equations of uniformly accelerated motion so we have mainly three equations which establish relationship between uniform acceleration a initial velocity u final velocity v time t distance or displacement travel s means a u v t s means when a body is uniformly accelerating in that type of body between these five quantities there exist mainly three relations three relations one is v equal to u plus a t s equal to u plus a t plus sorry s equal to u t plus half a t square v square minus u square equal to 2 as we have three equations which are used to find the relation between these five quantities so how we have got these equations that we will learn in our next video okay children that's all for today 
So thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates. Thank you children. Have a good day.